everybody it's boys with the most toys with you again today and today he's so big I can't even get him in one frame to take a good video this is G1 Metroplex in Lego a whopping 33 inches tall or a little bit more if you start counting antennas or antennae he is G1 Lego Metroplex uh, this guy took a long time to complete I lost count of how many bricks and this is his robot mode so as he is so massive I'm going to do three videos along with the um, the summary video which you've probably already seen uh, to just show some key points in the different modes so this is robot mode uh, you can see my sig fig here uh, to show a size comparison he is like one third well, maybe uh, half the size a little less than half the size of the head before antennae uh, so you can get a, a, an idea of scale here it's just massive it's huge it's heavy um, the other thing I want to just show you some cool points this you'll see in the other modes um, but in robot mode it can flip up so you've got um, basically another more weaponized sight the one cool thing similar to G1 but these locking mechanisms uh, sorry these uh, the guns on the shoulders are all basically ratchety so they can do pretty much any position uh, I did not make six gun I thought it would be silly to have a 18 inch tall stick robot made out of his gun so I did not bother with that mode articulation on this guy of course the head can move wherever it wants in a ratchet the arms both of them have separate configurations this arm is all geared you have to turn it plus turn this gear to make it move this one has a special um, basically mechanism in here that if you press this you'll release the arm and then it locks it holds by pressure it locks into positions it's like keyed uh, so that was a, a pretty interesting and fun thing to do so the different configurations the elbows are basically on uh, there are three ratchet joints put together or click joints whatever you want to call them and you can hear them they're clicking into spot into place uh, what else can we do here the other things that are that he rotates at the shoulders or whatever you want to call it at, above the waist at the thorax the the um, the hips here have pins to keep the transformation modes in check I had to make a special joint uh, in the crotch area to ensure these would move properly there's another three or four uh, click joints in here and then uh, the legs go down we have a special joint that goes into the legs you'll see some more of that when we do the different modes again we're going to do the different modes so there's articulation here in the antennae uh, what else can I show you oh yeah one thing that's really cool uh, unlike the G1, he, he basically transforms almost 99% like the G1 Transformer. Um, the one cool thing about this, you don't have to take the fists off like the original toy. You can just fold in the hands like that, and then he's ready for the modes. Uh, the other two modes, the city mode and the, I guess, vehicle mode, if you want to call it that. We'll get to that later. The hands are basically much, very similar to the ones I did for Bruticus. They have a lot of articulation, as you can see here. So all in all, I'll get you some close-up views here if you haven't seen them already in the in the uh, recap video. This guy is just huge. You can see his chest. Uh, here you can put your minifigures in. They can control your creons or whatever. Um, you can put them in city mode. The hands, the legs, which you've seen so many times in teasers. The guns here quite simple but they, they reflect the G1 uh, toy pretty good so yeah so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this watch the other two videos of the vehicle mode if you want to call the vehicle mode or the rolling mode and the city mode so thanks for watching thanks for your support on my Lego projects and happy building everyone we'll talk to you soon take care